What really helped foster the changes that occurred? Um, I started coming to Mercy Road um, about four and a half years ago, and um, I remember the very first time I sat in service, it was at the school, and I literally felt like Josh was sitting right next to me having a conversation with me. Um, and I can say that that was the first time that I thought that, okay, I'm not just doing all the right things for Jesus, but Jesus actually is talking to me. Um, and so I started, uh, that first service, I was hooked. I was like, Mercy Road, so great. Um, and so after that, I joined an outpost. And, and really, it was in outpost that I realized that people are a hot mess just like me. And that's okay. Um, because what was so beautiful about the, the whole situation was that these people were a hot mess, but they still loved Jesus, and they still gave God all the glory, even for their hot messness. Um, yes, I've turned hot mess into a lot of different words. Um, but it was from Outpost and coming to Mercy Road and getting involved, and at one point, I told someone, when I walk into these doors, I feel like people look just like me. And what I meant by that was I can see people's brokenness because they're not ashamed of it. It's not taboo. Um, you're not condemned for it. Instead, you're loved on because of your brokenness.